Hello world, this is Random Fix, and this is going to be a pretty quick video about electrical connectors, building batteries, and all kinds of different things that we might mention in this video. But the main purpose of the video actually here is going to be this breaker switch. So I have a 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery here, and the battery itself is great. I have a video on how to go ahead and build that, and once I built the battery, I noticed I started having some issues so this and you may be having the same issues as me hello world this is random fix and this video is gonna be about these breakers that you can buy for 13 to 17 bucks on Amazon and if you're building yourself a battery bank like this or you just have regular batteries and you put this device in there and you're checking out this video it's probably for a reason because these things are some trouble so we're gonna go ahead and talk about this in this video today I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts give you guys some alternatives and uh, maybe you guys are experiencing the same exact thing as this so that's why I'm making this video so you can go ahead and save yourself a big old headache so stay tuned Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. So I recently did a video on how to go ahead and make lithium iron phosphate batteries like this. For example, I made this whole battery here for 600 bucks, including the secondary BMS, the BMS, the cables, the cells, and then the box. So amazing battery, 280 amp hours. It works phenomenally well. And one of the problems I ran into when I was using this was I sometimes would go ahead and get not enough current going to my inverter and I could not figure out what was going on so I started doing some research to find out that these guys right here have their limits so if you're using a breaker like this I would recommend definitely keeping it under about a hundred amps possible as when you go over a hundred amps you basically just stops be being effective it may trip too easy it may not allow enough current to go across because of the hardware that's included and this sort of breaker does incur some losses as far as voltage because we got one connection second connection and then we have a connection on the inside so whenever you're trying to hook up a battery to the actual load device you want to try to go ahead and use the best wires possible and you want to go ahead and try to minimize the amount of connections you need so this guy right here is something I'm not going to use going forward just because of the amount of trouble that has caused me I thought it was my cable so I ran thicker cables all to find out that this is the limiting factor of my battery and to escape the limits of this this is what I've gone ahead and started installing now it's going to be these connectors here I guess they're from bus man and you can get different size fuses in here I happen to have a 250 amp one because I have a bigger BMS on the ones that I'm using with this and you want to go ahead and scale up so if you're gonna go ahead and use a 100 amp BMS you want to go ahead and get a 125 or 150 amp fuse so that way it could go ahead and take that little bit of a surge so this is something I definitely recommend instead I'm having a lot better success with this and the nice thing with this is you get better hardware and there's only two connections so we have a connection here and a connection here there's not an internal connection and you're gonna basically just have better success so I wanted to keep this video short and simple so make sure if you're gonna go ahead and do anything over 100 amps please get rid of these Go with something a little bit more direct. And if you guys need help with your setup, please comment down below. I have videos as well on making the batteries, running shore power in stealth locations like that, installing the inverters, automatic transfer switches, solar panels, DC to DC converters, battery shunts, the battery chargers, everything is gonna be in the video link down below. And this is what it looks like installed. Those are going to be 12 millimeter nuts on here. And no 
no locking washer needed so this actually came out great if you guys got any questions got the battery shunt dc to dc converters possible cooling solutions for your battery systems please comment down below i'll be more than happy to help you if you happen to live in Northern California and you're interested in a battery setup like this, I normally have a few of these extra laying around. So don't hesitate to reach out to me and I'll hook you up with a good deal. Thanks. Thanks again, guys. Make it a great day. If you guys like these kind of videos, consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you guys are new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button right there. So anytime I post videos, you guys will go ahead and get notified. And I, and I truly appreciate your support. Thanks again.